Probably one of, one of the closest things I think we've actually done to one of the more original uh, mixtapes. Juicy J was in this month. Yeah, it's like, that track, yeah. Crazy. This is Juicy J. There's a lot of diversity. Remember what you it? tweeted, though? Yeah, it's Bobby Tarantino yeah. Under Pressure. Bobby Tarantino yeah. Under Pressure. A lot of diversity. Remember what So that wasn't quite what we were hoping for. Yes, Logic's newest album, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, has just released, and I can't help feeling like it's potentially his worst studio album so far. And the crazy thing is, I'm not even close to alone on this. Even Logic's most dedicated fans are disappointed to the level that they're coming up with theories that a second part to this album is dropping this Friday that's actually well constructed and lyrical. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I want that to happen, but I don't buy it. I believe there is a story to this album and that people have figured it out, but it's just gonna be continued on Logic's next studio album album in my opinion, not a supposed second part to this one. At the very least, the points within this video will be under the assumption that Confessions is the full, final, complete version of this specific album. This is CDTV, you can go over to my twins channel to see his first reaction to the album, and yes, we share hoodies, okay, it's, it's normal, it's a normal thing. We're not the same person, we just share hoodies. And let's talk about Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Y'all know the regimen, R-A-W-T-P-A-C-K Rapping like back in the day, yeah, you heard what I say from E-B-T and watching B-E- In my mind, the, the biggest thing that set this album up for failure was how Logic hyped it up and what he strongly suggested, in fact, what he flat out said it was going to be. On Twitter and in his Hard Knock interview, Logic said that this album would be Bobby Tarantino meets Under Pressure. There's a lot of diversity. Remember what you it? tweeted though? Yeah, it's Bobby Tarantino yeah. under pressure. Like, so it's like sure. so. that sonically too. You know? yeah. This was amazing news as Under Pressure was Logic's debut album and his most lyrically impressive one to date. It was so well constructed and not a single track was wasted. It's incredible from front to back. One of my favorite rap albums ever. The idea of Logic revisiting this sound and modernizing it with his more Bobby Tarantino trap sound was a really cool concept. Then the album dropped and it was more like Bobby Tarantino 2 meets everybody. Not really what most people wanted or expected. Songs with half-baked concepts that don't really dive that deep into their subject, Logic giving us trap-style music that was really monotonous because we've heard this exact sound from him before, that wasn't what he said this would be. I mean, there is the sample from Gang Related that plays at the start of Mama. Look at me now. Is that it? Is that the under pressure aspect of this album right there? In my opinion, there are only really three tracks that match the lyricism and quality found on Under Pressure. And those tracks are the intro track, uh, the aforementioned Mama, which I believe is the only true example of Under Pressure meets Bobby Tarantino on here, and Lost in Translation. All fantastic tracks and definitely the best three on the album, but that's only three out of 16. The rest weren't even close. As I said, people are theorizing that this is just part one of the album, the Bobby Tarantino side, but I I'm pretty sure there's almost a 0% chance that a second disc to this album exists that is the under pressure side. I feel like this is what we've got and it just completely missed the mark on the under pressure side of things. When Logic said, I don't give a damn about lyrics on don't be afraid to be different, I really, really believed them, man. Now, there is a theory that explains why the lyrics might be lacking on this album, but first, let's just look at why they're weak on their own. Who's biracial only in his penis? Rhyming like I'm Dr. Seuss, I'm Sam I am, I don't give a damn about lyrics. They want to see a black man fall down, they want to see a black man lose, they want to see a black man fall down, they want more blacks to sing the blues times two. As you can see, subtlety is not a strong suit of this album, but it goes even further than just some dumb lines. We have the man who made the suicide awareness song 1-800, the man who made a song about how crippling his anxiety can be, that very same man says he wishes he had bipolar disorder because Kanye West has it and he makes great music. 
Are you serious? And on top of all those lyrics that stand out as bad or just hypocritical when you look at Logic's past lyrics, the biggest issue is that most of the album is just so bland and devoid in terms of lyrics and content that the project is just not fun to listen to. I understand at this point that Logic is insanely rich, we've heard pretty much all there is to hear about it, yet it's what he talks about on nearly every single song on here. And it's not even like it's in any type of witty way, one of the tracks he literally just said says, I've got a lot of money, a lot, like a lot, more than I need. Yeah, lyrically, this might just be the weakest album that Logic has ever released. It's even less committed to its concept than everybody, and that is insane. He really hyped this up to be an album that talks about the effects and dangers of social media, something that would have thought-provoking bars and interesting themes. Then he only really covered those themes on like three songs. And the rest were lyrically dry songs that sounded like Bobby Tarantino extras, full of filler lines and the generic logic bars and rhymes that we've come to expect. I'm ready to kick it. Give me the step, you know I'm a flip it. Writing this shit like I'm them and these If she looking better, you know I'm a dickhead. I whip it. Now, the theory about the storyline and the narrative here is that the album is best listened to backwards. Yep, it's the old, uh, damn theory again. And it's supposedly the character of the robot AI named Thalia who's imitating Logic on this project and pretending to be him. If you remember, she displayed that she could impersonate people on The Incredible True Story. Okay, Thalia, simulate Big Sean. What up, Kai, you little bitch? And there's a lot to dive into, so I'll leave a link below explaining this narrative if you want to fully understand it, because it does make a lot of sense. If this narrative is correct, if it is this robot impersonating logic on this album, on one hand, it kind of gives some sort of reason for the very, like, lazy and recycled writing on here, and the bars that are really out of character for Logic. Plus, it makes the long-form storytelling of Logic's discography really impressive, but on the other hand, did the writing have to be this lazy and recycled for us to get it? Like, he pretty much put out what most people consider to be a bad album just to tell part of a story. It partially feels like a bit of an excuse for him to be really relaxed with the writing on this one, or he just went too far with it. I mean, isn't the Bobby Tarantino character already the one you use to be more relaxed lyrically? Why couldn't Thalia still be lyrical and instead fully flesh out the hypocritical part, going against Logic's beliefs to show us that something is up? Is this super intelligent AI not smart enough to write sick bars? If this narrative is true, it means Confessions is essentially essentially just a stepping stone to the next Logic album, where this narrative will be continued, I'm, I'm assuming Ultra 85. For me, it's insanely well put together story-wise, but it almost makes this album feel like a waste, because Logic unintentionally made the album not that fun to listen to by intentionally dumbing it down, if this narrative is correct. I, I just, I just feel like this could have been pulled off in a way that didn't cause so many people to dislike like the album. So, the way things currently are, I think this might legitimately be my least favourite Logic project, the worst one. At the very least, it's my least favourite studio album from him. He, he seems to have had this issue lately of promising that when his albums come out they're gonna be one thing, and then when they actually come out they're not really that close to how he described them. There, there's nothing worse than setting people up to expect that they're gonna get one thing, and then giving them something else, that's just, that's just a recipe for backlash. It happened with everybody, and it happened with Confessions, somehow to an even more disappointing extent. This is the fourth time in a row that I've came away from a Logic album or mixtape feeling like it wasn't all that amazing, so I don't even know if I can bring myself to be hyped up when he announces the next one. Um, maybe that's just the, the disappointment speaking right now, I, I guess I'll never know until he actually does announce the next one. So, what did you guys think of Confessions of a Dangerous Mind? Let me know down in the comments below, and let me know if you agree with my reasons on here, or if you disagree with them, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. At the end of the day, I'm still a Logic fan, I'm just not a fan of this album. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you leaving a like, and subscribing if you want to see more content similar to this. Thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you all in the next one, and this is CDTV Productions, signing out.